Hi guys and welcome to another video here on my channel. Now right back at the beginning of the summer, a very long time ago, I went to the Warner Brothers Studio Tour of Harry Potter World. I had a great time, it was really interesting. I used to be a big Harry Potter fan when I was younger. Growing out of it a little bit but I still enjoy the franchise. After visiting there I felt inspired to do some painting of one of the characters. Now I read some advice somewhere that painting older people was easier for portraits as there are more wrinkles and lines so it's more forgiving. So I decided I wanted to paint an old character and in the end I settled on Professor Snape. I have been a fan of Alan Rickman's work and he was a great actor, particularly in the Harry Potter series and everybody felt so sorry for him and I think he moved quite a lot of people with his role. So this painting was much better and much easier than my uh, train wreck of a painting that I did last of uh, Lord. This one definitely turned out a lot better. This one took a very long time as well though. In total this piece took me about six hours. I did it over the course of a couple months as a bit of a side project as it was quite a lot of work to do. The paper that I'm using is Arsh hot press paper. Uh, I found it to be quite a nice paper to work on. It had a funny sizing and it did dull the curves a little bit but overall it was quite smooth and quite nice to work on and it didn't warp a lot either. We'll see that at the end when I remove all the masking tape. The board is just a drawing board. I used masking tape, I used cellar tape, I used more masking tape. I really made sure it was stood down. I've been having problems with keeping my watercolour paper stuck to the board that was to uh, unstick itself. The watercolour paints I'm using in this vary from Old Holland to Schmincke to Windsor and Newton. Going on lots of different trips and different places really helped to inspire you and it's really helpful to get over artist block this way. It's a big help. New experiences and new things and new art styles as well that really help to inspire people. I did use a reference for this for this piece and you can see it there on my tablet to the side. I did have a lot of fun working on this painting and I found it quite enjoyable. It was very stress free as well overall which is quite unusual for any painting that I do. I find, find it it's quite stressful. Painting portraits can be quite daunting work as there's no flat skin tone. There are lots of different tones and colours that make up different parts of the face. And it was quite difficult as well because Alan Rickman being British like myself we're quite pale in general and he is particularly pale in this role so his skin didn't have an awful lot of colour to it which was even harder to get right. I used my Jackson's watercolour brushes for this piece as well they've become a new favourite I did use some masking fluid as well on this paper to keep some highlights and after about three months of painting they still came off very easily as you will see at the end of the video as well. I did a sketch pre-hand as I found it made the video shorter and my sketching can be quite messy so it's helpful to have a finished tidy image at the end. I worked up in a lot of layers starting with base layers of Naples yellow and like raw sienna and yellow ochre. I also noticed as well that he has quite a lot of purple in his skin particularly in the shadows, the lips and around his cheekbones. I 
I often find it helpful to break down a big piece such as this will take a lot of hours into bite-sized manageable sessions so sort of quick 20 minute sessions so you can stay focused and stay relaxed while painting it's a lot stress-free and whenever anything goes wrong or there's lots of water just walk away and let it dry it's by far the easiest thing to do it's always important to let your colors dry and settle on the paper so you know what they will look like before trying to add more on top because you may end up trying to fix the mistake that will settle down and correct itself anyway. I did have to use some white in this painting, which is unusual, but I decided I needed to add it into the face because I went too dark and to correct something that's too dark it's quite difficult. Arch paper isn't known for being very lifting, so I had to add quite a few layers of white watercolour paint just to try and cool the colours down a bit and try and lift some of them up because it was far too dark. that also took quite a lot of time was building up that black colour on his robes. That black colour was uh, Schmincke's Payne's Grey. It's become a new favourite colour despite originally uh, in the video where I watched it saying that it was horrible. I found it to be quite useful for a black because it's not very intense so it had to be, be built up in lots of layers. I also did a Grisel technique to build up the shadows so painting the darkest shadows and then going over with washes of the paint grey. I finished off the painting with some cheap pen colour pencils. It's just helped to add some texture and some more definition, particularly in the hair. 
but it's quite difficult to get those fine lines which uh, hair is made up of. So I'm just removing the masking fluid and it does come off very easily despite being on there for three months. very important once you feel that a piece is finished to really leave it alone not keep uh, trying to rework it because you can end up causing it more mistakes and ending up worse once you're happy or feel you're happy it's best just to leave it so this is it it's all done or finished you can find this on my instagram i hope you enjoyed it i'll see you next time <laughs>